Hey guys, it's Tracy. I am sharing again the craft that I did as a part of the for the Love of Crafts event, January 16th, 2021, that I participated with some friends. I was having some internet glitches and even back on, uh, you know, when people watched back on the replay, they were still glitching. So I thought that I would just put this video together just to give an overview of what I did with this craft because it is so cute and I know a lot of people are going to redo it. For my project, I am doing a Valentine pocket frame that uh, turned out so cute. This was the one that I, you know, had done as my sample. I wanted to uh, redo this in a larger version. I had done one last year on a four by six frame and it was a little small. I wish I would have used a larger frame but I didn't have one until now. And so this is an eight by 10 frame and what I was sharing is it has like a faux wood finish and uh, so this turned out so cute. Um, I'm using a black and white polka dot bag party bag from Hobby Lobby and it came in like a set of 10 and those are usually in their party supply section and uh, what I also shared is that uh, you could use a paper lunch bag as well so I took out the backing of the photo frame because uh, I'm going to be adhering my paper onto that but first um, while my frame is drying, I'll work on that, that paper backing. So I just took my plaster color chalk paint and a brush and just dry brushing the frame, um, not covering it all the way, just give it a bit of distressing. And so then I will uh, adhere the paper to the back of the photo frame. And what I was sharing here, because the first one, the example I did uh, was a hanger. I had taken off that kickstand on the back of the photo frame. And uh, while I was doing that, like this morning, uh, like that morning, um, I needed to prop it up to something when I was working on my bag. So this one, I decided to not take it off. And actually, I like that a little bit better because it can be a shelf sitter and not just a hanger where you have to find a hook to hang it on. So then now I'm just cutting off my paper. This red and white striped paper came from Hobby Lobby. And uh, so I just cut it to size and just using my adhesive tape glider. Uh, it's just a double-sided tape. Um, I have it linked in my Amazon store or you can get these uh, from the craft store anywhere like scrapbooking supplies are sold usually. So to add a bit of whimsy, I'm adding some black rickrack, just a strip of that. I cut it to size and then I just hot glued that onto the frame. And I was just kind of sharing that I didn't waste my time by, you know, adding any rickrack to the bottom of the frame because the pocket was going to cover it up anyway. And so I just cut off, you know, whatever was hanging over so that it would fit nicely into my frame and so now I'm going to work on my pocket and uh, so this particular bag uh, like I said is a party so a party bag they come in a pack of 10 from Hobby Lobby I got it in the party section and uh, so um, I cut off you know I don't know about three or four inches of the bag about three and a half inches I guess and uh, uh, well, first I hot glued the flap down, uh, the bottom of the flap, uh, so that it would sit nicely in the bottom of my frame. And uh, you'll you can kind of see if you work with it, you'll kind of you know get the gist of it. Anyway, so then now I'm just making some slit, uh, some slits in the uh, top of my bag so that I can bend it over. And uh, so like on the sides. Uh, on the first one, I had them folded out, but I really didn't like that. So this one, I decided to fold them in. Um, I cut slits in the top and the bottom, or the top and the back, or the front and the back rather. And uh, I, I folded those flaps on the sides to the in, toward the inside 
And I like that much better. <laughs> so I guess it's just a personal preference. And so um, I'll just glue the bag to, uh, you know, like stick the bottom of the bag into the bottom of the frame and then I'll work from there. So I kind of opened my bag as much as I could and to put my flowers and my other, um, you know, stuff in the bag, I'm using a block of a styrofoam from the Dollar Tree and uh, I just cut off the corners of that styrofoam so that it would fit uh, more snug into the bag and so I just hot glue all of that down together then to kind of cover up the styrofoam I am using some Excelsior it's just kind of like moss and uh, I just stick off some of that and just stick it into the bag just however much I, I want to about here is when I realized that I was going to put some burlap ribbon around the bag before I hot glued it to the frame and I had done that for my sample and I thought okay I'm gonna remember that when I make the second one I was going to uh, glue some burlap ribbon around the bag before I glued the pocket to the frame well gosh darn it I did it again and uh, so what I was doing here is I had just cut off a strip of that burlap ribbon and just using my serrated knife because I just needed to you know hot glue it and stick it underneath that that pocket so that you know it would look like I had burlap wrapped around the pocket so then now I'm going to use this uh, bush from Dollar Tree. It has roses and it has puffy hearts and just some like baby's breath or some berries uh, in this little bush. And so I'm also using some pit berries from Hobby Lobby. And uh, I'm just going to be in inputting these items into the pocket and playing around with it just till, just until I like the, um, you know, placement of everything. I'm also using some glittery hearts, uh, some puffy hearts from the Dollar Tree. These are new to me this year. They are, have the heart cut out, uh, you know, in the pick itself. And uh, so I just cut off a little bit of that uh, pick because it was a tad long and then I have these smaller puffy hearts from the Dollar Tree as well I used that uh, you know section of the pick that I cut off from the first heart um, as a toothpick kind of thing or as a pick and then I just use a couple of smaller hearts just to add you know more texture and dimension and just cuteness to this whole little arrangement I'm going to make a small little bow for my pocket and uh, I'm just making a uh, junk bow, messy bow, refab bow, whatever, you know, a person chooses to call it. And uh, I'm using, my basis is the burlap from the Dollar Tree. And then I just have some different ribbons and trims that I like to use just for, you know, just combine them all together just to make the little bows. And uh, so I just cut them and then I also cut some pearls. I thought that that le would look nice on this Valentine arrangement. I use a uh, pipe cleaner to you know make my bows because it makes them pop and then also that pipe cleaner I can twist it around that burlap bow you know so that it looks nice and finished and so then these little felt flowers are from Dollar General and so I am just taking one of the red ones and just hot gluing it there uh, right there in the center so then now I'm just I'm going to hand letter a tag and I just take my black sharpie marker and some tags that I had tea stained many years ago and uh, I just hand letter be mine now the tag was a little big so I decided to cut it down then I'm going to use a rusty uh, safety pin just to pin it there in the corner and um, you know this little project is so cute I just love the way that it turned out. 
For an extra finish, I have the styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree and uh, I just use my serrated knife and cut them in half so it kind of looks like little buttons or uh, just split balls or something like that. And uh, I just hot glued them to the corners of each, uh, you know, of the frame. And uh, I just love the added, uh, you know, whimsiness of it. And so I love the way that this project turned out. So I'm just sharing here. Um, I, I share, you know, you can take off the back, you know, if it's too bulky, you can put some jute ribbon or, uh, you know, this would look really cute with some beads uh, and all of that good stuff. But I'm just sharing both of these, you know, if you want to ha have the kickstand on the back and have a shelf sitter or just use some jute or some wire or a another kind of hanger and have it uh, be a hanger or wall decor or door hanger. Thank you so much for watching. I will have a link to the original video in the description if you would like to check that out as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of your support and kind comments. All right, guys, have a great day. God bless. Mm -hmm.